Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It wasn't a real yawn, and I probably shouldn't start the vlog out that way. I didn't mean to uh, force any yawns upon people. I was trying to get it out. You ever have a yawn inside? Yeah, I just made Diana yawn. You did? I did. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. It's like a biological thing that if you see someone else yawning, you start yawning. It's like when you see someone else taking a drink of something, you take a drink of something. Even if there's nothing to drink around you, it's really strange. You know, you pick up a salt shaker and go... I probably should not be recording this early in the morning. I gotta hang out with some patrons, because I promised and because I want to. And you know what? This is my birthday week, and I totally forgot about that yesterday. <laughs> so I get a bonus day after my birthday week, oh, because what? you didn't even tell me that it was still my birthday week. <laughs> and I didn't even remember to bring it up. So I get a bonus day. That's how it works. As soon as you sent me the link, I was like, oh, I need to get into this now. No, you need to put those Doctor Who figures up on your wall. Yeah. You still there, Chris? I see him moving. He's moving. Chris is moving. He's alive. I'm alive. Hun? These stroller choices are stressing me out. I'm Mr. Chris Perillo. MCP. End of line. I thought that was pretty clever. I don't get it. While I was in the shower, Dad texted me. I knew he'd come around. Eventually. Human circuitry. That was my idea behind Gnome Dex. It's a series of events that I helped produce for 10 years. There have been a few Gnome Dexers on Twitter who have requested that I bring it back from the dead. I don't know if the world would be ready for it, though. And even the premise for Gnome Dex itself evolved over time. It got to the point where I just wanted to surface stories that were transformative, showing how technology could transform lives. That's really what thrills me about tech in general. I mean, not just for the sake of tech, but what does it do to impact the world in a positive way? I've got an internal struggle. I'm both a pragmatist and an idealist, and sometimes altruism gets the best of me. Despite having given up so much of myself and my time over all these years, I still can't help but think it's all been worth it. After all, without technology, you and I never would have connected. Hello. Hello. We got a stack of stuff. I'm particularly excited about this one. Oh, that one's cute. It's from Liz. Oh, is it really? And Star Wars, by the way, is not cute. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I bisected Chewbacca. There's a cat on the card. Ah, she saved the best for last. But she also added that I'm sweet. Kind of like a gumdrop. That's not her nickname for me, right? <laughs> But despite the internet's fascination with cats, we're not going to see the musical ever again. <sighs> a gift from Mike Smith. He sent me a card with a whole bunch of A's on it. No cats that I know of. Wait, nope, nope, no cats. But we got a happy A gift card, which we can use for, I think, three diapers. Aww. Lunch? What did I do to deserve this? Don't worry, I'm not going to unwrap anything here. <laughs> Hello, Diana. I look like an open mouth. Baby. I'm sorry, I'm drooling. <laughs> Go away. No, I can't. <laughs> the envelope says this is a gift, and it is. It's the paper bag princess. Oh, this is also from Liz. It was her favorite book. I kind of like that. You know, people have their own favorite book, and everybody's favorite seems to be different, so... I mean, Baby Perillo is going to be exposed to so much, but Diana informs me that the one thing Baby Perillo needs right now is a mattress. I can't tell if you've come to stab me or give me watermelon. I cut this piece just for you. Or stab me with watermelon. No, no. I'm with it. <laughs> you missed your mouth. practically giving these away. The sucker went on clearance three times. You know why? Because nobody wanted to collect Anakin Skywalker. They only want Darth Vader. Oh, get out of my way, stickers.
I know Mom thinks she's being helpful by telling us there's a sale on soaps, but I think our bed is already full. <laughs> we need to go get soap. No, we don't. We have plenty of soap. We can put one in the dog's bed. What if they have restless legs? They do move around a lot. The remote controls I understand, but can we at least put the soap under the covers? <laughs> Baby, I'm telling you, we had soap in there. When? At one point. Years ago? No, we have some somewhere. I know we do. No, that's woman stuff. <laughs> I know we got soap! Okay, show me where the soap is. Yeah, I'll show you where the soap is. <laughs> right there. Wait, that's not soap. <laughs> Soap's over here. That's soap. But just one container. Really, just one. No, I mean one little container. What do you mean? One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I knew we had some. Are we talking about soap? Yes, we are. Is this what we're arguing about? We're not arguing. There's no argument. We have three. I know we have refills, but not these. We don't need more soap. Baby, I, I don't need soap on my forehead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we can get warm vanilla sugar. Farm stand apple. Sweet clementine. Do they have like a, a soap scent? I won. We're getting soap. <laughs> now your hands will smell good. Are you saying that my hands don't smell good now? Well, hold on. They smell okay. Sometimes I forget you're pregnant. I know. I don't. <laughs> The baby was moving inside the store. It says sprinkled with sparkling sugar. Don't you usually wash your hands to get rid of the sugar? <laughs> That's true. What kind of soap is this? <laughs> That's how they get you. Now with real dirt. <laughs> so that way you wash your hands, they're dirty again, you gotta wash them again, they're dirty again, you wash them again, and you're just in this endless cycle. You were giving the poor girl a hard time. Well, it's not my fault. I walked up to the clerk and I said, hey, I don't think this smells like cool summer breeze. And then he said, is it okay to use the fall scents in the summer? Or is that against the rules? <laughs> I think that you were serious. She's like, oh no, it's, it's okay. You can use the fall scent in the summer. Keeping him honest. There was another guy in there. He laughed at some of the stuff he said. Well, of course, he's a guy. <laughs> yeah, he seemed lost. I usually like all the scents in there, but since I'm pregnant, I had to be very careful. So I went with two safe scents. See, I don't care what it smells like, so long as it matches the decor. <laughs> See, without the right color, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We're not fighting. We love each other. It's right here. Oh, I thought you were going to put my hand in the pan. <laughs> no. Can you feel it? Your belly? Oh, whoa, yeah! Oh, I felt that one on the inside. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> it's moving a lot right now. I don't know why. It gets tight, and then it moves. <laughs> Estrellitas y queso frijoles del verde. It was very good. Was it? Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Let me get this straight. You made a home-cooked meal, mm -hmm. yet you're eating popcorn. Mm -hmm. Popcorn sounds better. But you made this. I know, but the baby doesn't care. The baby wants what it wants. And it wants popcorn. We hope you liked today's effort and we'll see you tomorrow.